The current slide displays a section of a finger, which is being used to explain one formation and joint structure. The joint structure includes two cartilaginous heads located at the end of the finger bone, with the visible joint space being surrounded by the synovial membrane that produces synovial fluid. Additionally, there is a capsule of connective tissue outside the synovial membrane that forms the joint capsule. Ossification between the cartilage occurs from the articular cartilage towards the diaphysis and consists of five stages. The first stage involves resting cartilage cells. In the second stage, cells divide and align in rows called cell proliferation. At the third stage, cells grow larger due to the entry of vascular buds and increased nutrient supply. At the fourth stage, cells begin to calcify the matrix around them resulting in disrupted cellular nutrition and cell death. This stage is called calcification. The fifth and final stage involves osteoprogenitor cells entering through vessels and transforming into bone cells, referred to as ossification. In this slide, we have a cross-section of compact bone. The bone marrow, located at the center of this bone, is clearly visible. Adjacent to the bone marrow lies a layer, known as the endosteum, which contains osteoblasts. The other most layer of the compact bone is called the preosteum which is composed of two distinct parts. The outer area of the periosteum is composed of fibrous tissue, which provides support and protection to the bones. Within the inner area of the periosteum, there are osteoprogenitor cells that can differentiate into osteoblasts. Between the periosteum and endosteum, there are Hoersian systems, in which osteocytes are arranged in concentric circles around a Hoersian canal containing blood vessels and nerves. In the ground section, there is no need to remove the mineral, so that the bone in the section contains both the mineral and the collagen that form most of the bone structure. Here you can see a Hoversian system, including Hoversian canal, circles of astocytes, and their canaliculi. The lacuna is a cavity containing astocytes and the canaliculi are small channels containing extracellular fluid. The Hoversian systems have varying sizes of canals, 
and there is another canal named Volkmann's canal that interconnect them. Between the Hoversian systems, there are interstitial lamellae. The next slide is spongy bone, which consists of trabeculae and contains bone marrow in between them. There are osteocytes inside the trabecular bone and osteoblasts are located on the surface of each trabeculae. Osteoblasts are cuboidal cells and their nuclei are clearly visible. A spongy bones trabeculae are thin, then there is no need to have a Hoversian system. The nutrition and oxygen are provided from bone marrow blood vessels. A spongy bone is surrounded by a thin layer of compact bone. The Hoversian systems containing blood vessels and nerves are present in each surrounding compact bone. This slide is traca. I use it to teach hyaline cartilage. With higher magnification, you can see cartilage. The perichondrium is a layer of dense irregular connective tissue that surrounds the surface of hyaline cartilage. It is made up of two layers, an outer fibrous layer containing fibroblasts and collagen fibers, and an inner chondrogenic layer containing chondroprogenitor cells. These cells have the ability to differentiate into chondrocytes, which are responsible for producing and maintaining the extracellular matrix of the hyaline cartilage. As they produce the ECM or extracellular matrix, they become surrounded by it and are trapped in spaces called lacuna. The interstitial matrix fills the space between the neighboring lacuna. The term territorial matrix is used to describe the area immediately surrounding a chondrocyte in cartilage tissue. It is characterized by a higher concentration of protoglycans than the interstitial matrix. Chondrocytes can also divide and create isogenic groups. Groups of cells that have descended from a single parent cell. 